Good morning. This is our Pastor's Corner devotional series. Uh, actually, what this is going to be, this is going to be our Christmas devotional um, because after this week, we're going to take a two week break uh, for the Christmas break and uh, we'll begin again in January. And so before we sign off, I just wanted to make sure we did have a quick uh, devotional about Christmas and the Christmas season. And so I've got my ugly sweater on. I've got my little elf Santa hat thing going on here. And I just want to share with you a devotional passage uh, to encourage you uh, during this Christmas season. And it's taken from the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 and 7. Here's what it says. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness. From that time on and forever, the zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Uh, what uh, I just want to take a moment here to acknowledge and recognize the fact that at Christmas time, we celebrate uh, the birth and coming of Jesus Christ and his first coming. And one of the great things that has happened as a result is that God has established his kingdom, a spiritual kingdom called the kingdom of God. And it's at work right now, presently today, but we're waiting for its ultimate fulfillment and ultimate conclusion when Christ comes again. But what's great about this passage are those four titles that I think uh, are encouraging to us today. Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. You know, what, are, what is a wonderful counselor? The idea of wonder is the idea of awe and magnificence, in, indescribable, incomprehensible. And, and this uh, it, it, word wonder is to help us marvel at who this God is, who this Jesus is. And not only is he wonderful, he's a counselor. He's, he's a person who, who is a strategist, someone who can see the problems and give you solutions to every single problem out there. And so the amazing thing about this is that he's a wonderful counselor. He's the one who can see and foresee all the issues that we will ever go through in life. And he has the solution. He has the ability to guide us through. He's also the mighty God. Not only is he able to see, but he has the power. He is the power and, and full power of God at his disposal. He can make a promise and keep it without ever disappointing. So he's a mighty God as well. He is the everlasting father. This wonderful relationship that he calls us to is that we would be his children and he would be our father. And, and the idea behind that is that he is a, a one who is a present father. He's one who is there. He's one who protects, who loves his children, who cares for his children and accepts full responsibility of, to take care of his children. He will never fail at that. And the last is that he's the Prince of Peace. And the idea of peace there is not the ab absence of conflict. And, and Lord knows we, we need that today in our such a conflicted world that we live in where everyone seems to be offended and hurt by something. Um, but the idea, of the, the idea of peace is to also have wholeness and to have fullness and to have completeness. And he's the Prince to offer all that. And so what I'm thinking of in this season of Christmas, and I know in this time where we are struggling with uh, social isolation, where we're struggling even just to, uh, with all kinds of fatigue, right? From Zoom fatigue to TV fatigue, to family fatigue, to relational fatigue, every kind of fatigue out there. And we've got a myriad of problems going on in our world that are just beyond our understanding at times. And yet through all of this, when Christ comes, he established a spiritual kingdom in which he is the great counselor. He is the mighty God. He is the one who is the everlasting father. He is the prince of peace. The solution to everything is the fact that Jesus is here. And that's the great thing. And that's the encouraging thing. But it's so hard for us to grasp that. It's so hard for us to trust that because we want to put everything else before that. We actually trust more in a lot of other things rather than to trust in Jesus. So may I just encourage you this Christmas season as we celebrate the birth of Christ, as we celebrate what it means to, to, to have Jesus with us, God with us, Emmanuel is the term. May you just be encouraged with these simple terms and titles that are given to Jesus. He is the wonderful counselor. Again, whatever the problems are in your life, he has the strategies to help you through that. He's the mighty God. He's the one who promises and gives and keeps his promises and he's able to fulfill without disappointment. He's the everlasting father. He cares for you. He loves you. He's there to take full responsibility of you. And he's the Prince of Peace, the one who gives completeness and wholeness to every situation in life. Allow those titles to dwell on you, to encourage you, and to maybe even change your perspective 
of Jesus during this Christmas season. So that's it this week for our Pastor's Corner. We're going to take a break. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And we'll see you again in January 2021. All the best to you. Peace.